Importing the geometry of a building in an evacuation model can be one of the most tedious and boring jobs. There are many ways to do it if you have already a BIM, but what if you have just a PDF and you want to bring it to Pathfinder or any other evacuation model? Today I'm going to share with you some tricks to have this job done in only a few clicks. Hello everyone, I'm Professor Rino and I have a lot of year of experience in evacuation modeling and helping uh, people from the industry in uh, taking up skills to run the proper evacuation simulation. So today I'm going to give you this uh, brief tutorial to show you how automation is today possible with evacuation modeling. Let's start with some definition. Well, I don't need to define PDF. I hope you all know what is a PDF file. BIM instead it's a, let's say a smart 3D model in which you don't have just a 3D representation of a building, you have a different layer of information for each element inside the BIM file. So one of the most famous format open to everyone is EFC, it's just a set of a line of code that describe a building and we can use it quite a lot in many other software to import geometry or other data from an existing or a new building. Instead, an evacuation model is a software that allows you to calculate how long it will take to evacuate a full building. Of course, you need to make a lot of assumption in terms of pre-evacuation times, in terms of evacuation speed, occupants, rate, and stuff like that. So there are entire course and engineering degree that will tell you how to do fire protection engineering modeling. So we are not going to spend time on this. Personally, I start doing evacuation modeling and simulation using FDS plus EVAC, but unfortunately it's not there any longer. But soon in my career, I start using Pathfinder. That is one of the most popular tools used almost by everyone to do evacuation simulation. Apparently in our paper, you can see here, it seems to be uh, really preferred for different reasons. And today we are going to use it for this simple demonstration. So in few click, I'm going to show you how we can start with a PDF and be ready to run an evacuation simulation. So let's get started. So the step that I'm going to introduce you start with a simple PDF. In this case, I just found this PDF. It was freely available on the web and I'm going to try to use this uh, simple house plans and convert it first of all in a EFC file and then we are going to import it and create a plan working for Pathfinder. So the file is here. The first step is to go and search for this beautiful tool. I've already made a video on this specific tool showing that it's a beautiful way to convert your PDF to BIM in just a few clicks. So let's open it and see how it looks like. So you can see it's a really simple interface. Yes, already English and French as a language. So let's go and import our PDF right here. He has identified that there are uh, multiple pages. I want just the plan for the first PDF page. And you can see that the page is loaded here. He has already detected that the scale of this model is one out of 150. I'm going to agree with the condition and see the magic appearing. You can see, yeah, his beautiful way to quickly develop a 3D representation of a building using BIM technology. You can see here, you can export the format in EFC or Revit. I never tried Revit exporting and see how it looks like in a Revit uh, document in a Revit editor. So if you have done it, please tell us in the comments if it works well. So you can see that there are some uh, small error here. For instance, this wall shouldn't be here. It's just a deck, but it's still detected. We can do some cleanup later on. You can see that the doors are all there. Can see a door here, door here, and yeah, and you can see that also the different color try to explain the different uh, room space. So what I'm gonna do now is to export it in uh, EFC. I'm gonna export it in EFC because I know already that Pathfinder allow us to import this kind of files. So let's go and open Pathfinder 
So you can see that Pathfinder is here. And by the way, they haven't sponsored this video. So I'm really grateful for them to share the license without asking me to pay. They do it for all students and people in academia. So thank you, Thunder Engineering, for support science with this kind of uh, way of sharing license. So we can see here that this is the common interface. If you have used Pathfinder, it's pretty easy to start and build your own geometry. It's not that complicated to start up and running, creating your first evacuation scenario. I've covered a full video on how to export EFC file from a Revit document and import in uh, Pathfinder. So if you want to know more and have more steps that guide you all the requirement uh, item that you need to to check before reaching this stage go and see that video otherwise stay with me and let's go and have a look what we can do with pathfinder now so we are back to finder here let's go and import what i'm gonna do here you can see that the esc file is already here and i'm gonna keep pressing next I guess is getting a good sense of the scale and we are using the right measurements. You can see here you have the possibility to change depending if you are using the metric scale or if you use the international standards for measurements. So I'm going to just leave the setup as it is and see what happens. I'm going to say finish and voila. You can see the the EFC file has been convert, imported. I don't think he has been doing much of conversion. And I'm going to remove the roof because we don't really need it. The good thing is that you can see that if you click here on the wall, you can see that he has been identified already as a extraction. If I select the full floor, you can see here that he is detected as a floor and I guess is gonna do the same for all the doors here. So the next step I'm gonna do is to clean up this mess. We know already that we don't need this wall here. It's just a deck. So I'm gonna remove it. Same with this. And uh, seems that we are good to go and convert this in a evacuation plan or Pathfinder. So you can see that if you click the full geometry, you have the possibility to select it all. You have, of course, the possibility to see the geometry or have a different kind of fancy visualization. We don't really care at this stage. We are going to just click on the beam selection and see that there are many options here that you might want to check to make sure that you have a good conversion i'm not gonna bother now do any check i really strongly recommend you to do it and you can see here that we have already the subdivision in different rooms pretty beautiful ah you can see here that we have already a uh, exit from the simulation we will need this and to make sure that we have a nice visualization, what I'm going to do is to probably hide this part. And you can see, haha, there are some small error that we might want to adjust. You can see here that the connection with this space and this space is missing. What we can do is to go in this part of the tool and zoom in and try to re recreate the connection between these two room i'm just pretending that i'm using the right sides you need to make sure that you have the correct sides of the exit because it might affect dramatically the results but let me try first of all to delete this part and recreate the exit yeah Actually, it's not an exit, it's a door connecting. I guess this is a inbuilt space to storage or storage. So I don't think we need to put any other connection. Potentially here we can even link the deck with this room. 
but for the sake of this video we don't really bother so what we can do is to start populating this space with uh, some humans i'm gonna for instance put a couple of people right here in the bedroom making babies just kidding let's put another person here and let's try to put people in every single room so it's gonna be a really packed space and let's put someone even in the garage here also you can see that the exit to the garage is not really working we can change in this case i guess everyone is gonna try to use this exit here let's go and see pressing this play button if we can run this simulation of course it's asking me to save it call it test one and let's wait and see the final results while we are waiting for the results i guess you have a few spare minutes so you can go down and press like and subscribe to this channel if you want to be updated with more tools to automate your workflow using especially ai so please giving us a fun up and subscribe to this channel is going to help us a lot to keep the channel alive so let's go back to the simulation you can see that we have already the results here with the 3D visualization of the house and let's go and play. You can see that there is no pre evacuation time because people seem to start evacuating straight away. For this specific example, I'm not bothered about it. If you want to know more about evacuation and if you want to know more about pre evacuation data, you really need to check this paper here or go to the SFP handbook. There is a chapter fully dedicated on evacuation data, focusing on pre-evacuation times, evacuation speed, and much more. So you can see that the simulation is working, working really smoothly. And if we go back to the original file, of course, Pathfinder will give you the possibility to change the profile of the evacuee, the behavior, so you can put and create the simulation that really fits to your case study. So I really hope you enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial that showed you how in few clicks we can go from a PDF to a fully working evacuation simulation.